Hi, hi. Ooh, huh? <laughs> well, I may hardly recognise you then. Oh, not been gone that long. I think you'll find he's talking about the power suit. <laughs> <laughs> not meant to a funeral, have you? No, it's supposed to make me look more professional. I'm a fully trained office manager now. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, is that why you've got him chauffeuring you about? Oh, I've been laid on by the boyfriend. <laughs> ah. Couldn't be bothered picking you up himself, eh? No, he was working. Eh? Hey, I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you want me to help you with your bags? No, I can manage that. Ah, uh, uh, office managers never carry their own bags. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Especially those whose boyfriends give fat tips. Oh. Hey, <laughs> eh? <laughs> oh, hello, stranger. Oi. Keep ignoring people are going to start getting suspicious. Oh, I'll take the risk. Now, what does it for, is it? The risk. You know, I preferred it when you didn't give me the time of day. So you ignored it, Alan. Yeah, because you know me so well. I know you're terrified. What, of you? No. What you're careful of. Here she is, hot from the dragon's den. Oh, you stop embarrassing me. <laughs> Made it back then. I don't think that was ever really in doubt, was it? Thought with your new look we might not be good enough for you. Well, it was touch and go there, Diane, but I knew there was someone special waiting for me. Oh, yes? Who's that, then? You really? Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Mmm. <laughs> wow. You look amazing. Uh, anybody would think you've never seen me dressed stylishly before. <sighs> you have no idea how much I've missed you. Really? Yeah, just to prove, I got you this. What is it? One way to find out. Well, it's not chocolates, is it? Because I kind of work in a sweet patch. <laughs> right. Wow. You should go away more often. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I don't know what to say. That I'm right behind you 100% might be a start. But having a baby with Andy? No, Mum. No, with some random guy off the street. Yeah, of course, with Andy. Isn't it a bit freaky? <sighs> He is Sarah's dad, in case you want notice. Yeah, but that was then. What did Cameron say? Well, he's not exactly dancing in the street about it. No, I bet he isn't. But he knows Sarah comes first. And you believed him? Well, yes, of course she does, because he's right. No, yes, of course he is right, of course. But still, what if he'd said no? Well, I wasn't asking his permission. Look, it's not like we've planned this, but what else are we supposed to do here? I thought that's what the donor thing was for, babe. Well, great. Why don't you find us one, then? The old awkward silence. Excellent. Well, we, we just popped over to tell Sarah about a bridesmaid's dress, didn't we? Yeah. In fact, the woman just phoned earlier and, um, well, she said it'd be ready any day now. Right, well, yep, yeah, about time I went for my bikini wax. Yeah, I'll be getting off, too. Um, we'll catch you later, babe, all right? Bye. What was that for? Um, for Sarah. Do I get one or no? No, no I don't. Bye. Tell them then. Well, have you ever tried keeping anything from those two? You've made a start on this. Yeah. Yeah, I should put it away. Yeah, yeah, because it's nothing to do with me, is it? No, that isn't what I meant. I thought you were OK with this. Understood. You're doing what you have to. What's not to understand? So, come on then. Where were you? When? Last night when I rang. Uh, where was I now? Uh, maybe I can jog your memory. That's right. I was out on the pool. Sorry. <laughs> Any luck? Sadly, no one was as gorgeous as you. No. <laughs> it's funny. It seemed like you were having a great time to me. Oh, yeah? Uh, to be honest, it was a bit boring. So I just had a quick pint and then hit the sack early. Sounds dull to me. I did you? Oh, don't say that. You were just pining for me, weren't you? Yes. Same again? Uh, I think I might have some of what they're on. <laughs> Not for us. We've got a little bit of catching up to do, haven't we? What, now? Yes, now, unless you've got something better to do. Oh, I think I can reschedule my appointments. Bye. See ya. <coughs> oh, thanks for making me one. We can finish this if you want. Uh, no, thinking about it, I'll pass on that. 
Oh, don't make you bunking off to. I'm gonna see that new buyer woman, Anna. Oh, aye. Right. We'll put in a good word for us, yeah? See if there's any nice management jobs going. Well, is this not glamorous enough for you? <laughs> no, you're right. I mean, what could be more glamorous than stuffing sausages all day? Oh, yeah, stuffing sausages in a stupid hat. Don't be ridiculous. You look gorgeous, innit? <laughs> Have you seen your mum? Uh, well, she went into town, I think, why? Well, if you see her, will you tell her I'll meet her later at the Woolly? Why, right, buying us all a drink, are you? Well, if you stuff enough sausages, yeah. Right, wish me luck. Good luck. See you, mate. See ya. Well, I told Debbie I'd pop my head in on the way back. What for? You know what? All oh, right, so that's it then, is it? Just gonna sign your life away? Sign my life away? Right, cos having a baby with your ex-girlfriend, that's not gonna change out, is it? I told you, we were never properly a couple. Whatever. The point is, it is a new life. A kid just like Jake or Sarah, not some flaming spare tyre. I know that. Do you? Cos I'm not sure you do. I know it's mad, OK? Mad? Mad doesn't even cover the half of it. I don't like this any more than you do, all right? But if we don't, she could die. Just don't make any sense, that's all. I mean, for a start, how can all this happen so fast, eh? The amount of flaming hoops that me and Justin had to go through, you two aren't even together. And what am I supposed to say if they call me up? Why would they? Uh, hello? I'm supposed to be your girlfriend. Your current one, anyway. Oh, do you know what? Just forget it. Are you just off? Uh, yeah, I was just going out. How are you fixed for later? I thought we could discuss your new hours. I got my job back. Mm, let's just say I'm working on it. Five, all right? Uh, yeah, brilliant. Um, I'll see you then. Anything you want to talk about? You're better off out of it. You know I'll get it out of you eventually. We've decided to try for a baby. You and Alicia. Me and Debbie. What? To try and get a match for Sarah. I don't understand. I thought you were finding a donor. What donor? But it's still early days yet, isn't it? Well, we can't risk it any longer. What do the doctors say? We're just filling the forms in now. What forms? To get the funding for the IVF. Oh, you're having a test tube, baby? It's, it's not like that. It's called something else. Are you sure you've thought this through, Pet? No. But if you could tell me another way to save a life, I'll do it. <laughs> Check you out. You're more addicted to that thing than I am. Uh, just checking to see when your dad's back. What? Well, I thought you were riding shotgun with him. Yeah, I was a bit of time just ran away from me. Well, lucky enough for you, he wants us all down to the pub. No. Oh, I can't come. How come? Because I've too much stuff to do here. Well, I'll just do it tomorrow. No, I won't. <sighs> I'll maybe try and pop down later or something. Fine. Right, I'm gonna go grab a shower. Yeah. See you in a bit. Bye. What the hell are you doing here? You tell me, you're the one sending the text. Yeah, not to come here. Adam's inside, for God's sake. Right, we better quit then, aren't we? No. Not a chance. Oh. I need to see you. Your words, not mine. Yeah, to talk about what's going on, not this. I know, we both know what you really meant. <sighs> Do you think you can just wander up whenever you feel like it? Well, I thought that's what you got off on, you know, after the thrill nearly getting caught. Well, in your sick mind, maybe, but not mine. Now go. Hey. <sighs> you don't really mean that. Believe me, I do. What if I don't believe you? Listen to me. I decide when and if we meet, OK? Not you. You know, you can be really sexy when you get on that high horse of yours. Really? And you're having exactly the opposite effect. I can't do this. So stop me. Talk about it tomorrow. 
I promise. Yeah, all right, look, bye-bye, bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hey, not so much as a smile. What's up? You always spent on your credit card again. Where is she? Who? Jenny. You haven't sacked her, have you? Hardly, since she already handed her notice in. Why? I just wondered if she picked anything up from the shops. You didn't actually think she was on a course today, did you? Why, you're jealous. No, but you are. Because you know what, round about now, she'll be scorching some sheets with that naughty Nicky. Have you just popped by to see how annoying you can be? You know, I sometimes wonder why I agreed to marry you. Well, I'll try and remember. I'd like you to cast your beady little eyes on that. What is it? Prenup? No, it's an invite list, thank you, to a wedding I may or may not lower myself to attend. I thought this was your job. Duh! I need to know which of your extended family you intend to magic out the woodwork. That's if you're even allowing me to meet them. Why don't you ask Mum? Well, I would if I had the foggiest who she actually was. Well, you can find out tomorrow. Because he's invited her over. What's he on about? He's got the phone to her now. Your mum is coming here tomorrow? Yeah, and Dad. Why? I mean, it's just a bit sudden, isn't it? To meet you, of course. You're about to become their daughter-in-law. When he says meet, he means uh, give the once-over, kind of try before you buy. Yes, thank you, Nikhil. Let's hope they're not too disappointed, eh? See? You get what you want. No one's a wiser. And you think this is what I want? <laughs> You have a pretty good impression. It never bothers you. What? The way that people hate themselves after being with you. Doesn't stop you coming back from orders, eh? Maybe it's not just your Hollywood, the addictive personality. No, don't you dare bring We're getting her into... possessive now, are we? Just go, kid. Oh, see, there you go again. Thinking you can call all the shots. Well, when we get down to it, you and me, we're just the same. We will never be the same. Don't be too hard on yourself. Till the next time. Not too early, Emma. Makes a change from being late. I'm only teasing. Chaz is in the back. Listen, tell me if I'm sticking my nose in, but all that earlier. Oh, yeah, that. Andy told me what's going on with him and Debbie. Well, I think yourself lucky. He tells me virtually no. How are you handling it? Him having a baby with someone else. Like someone stabbed me through the heart with a bread knife. But if it were our Jake, I suppose I'd do the same. I think I've found a solution to our staffing problems. Ooh! Is it a hunky fella? Please tell me it's a hunky fella. Not exactly. Haven't we been here before? Oh, come on. Bet the devil you know and all that. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. And she turned up early. Oh, right. Well, what are we waiting for, then? Step into my office. All right. Has she gone up already? Uh, no. Lisa's taken her. She's having a tea with Samson. Want a beer or anything? No, I'm all right. Right. Well, I've done the hard bit. You just need to sign the box at the back. Hold on. You've got this down as my address. Yeah, well, let's put it down as somewhere. Well, what if they check? Well, they won't. What if they do? I thought that was what you wanted. Well, not like this. Like what then, Andy? How is it going to look if we don't live together? You heard him. We have to be a proper couple. I don't know. Maybe this is a mistake. What? I should tell Alicia. I don't believe this. Well, it feels wrong keeping it from her. You were the one that wanted to keep this a secret. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, don't. If we tell them and they freak out, it could blow everything. What happens to Sarah then? Just sign it, please. I just can't get my head around this. <sighs> Scary, isn't it? But what else can she do? Well, there has to be some other way. I mean, come on, Andy, of all people. Well, that's the point, though, isn't it? It has to be a perfect match. Well, it's all a bit rushed, if you ask me. What, are you saying you wouldn't, if you had to? I would. Still, talk about your past coming back to haunt you. Talking of which... <clears throat> What's this here about Toffee Boy's Wrinkley's putting in an appearance? How do you know? 
she any, because flipping Nikhil tells her everything. Wait, don't get any ideas about stirring up trouble, you hear me? Just thought somebody should warn him what they're taking on, that's all. Wow. Debbie is going through absolute hell with Sarah, and that's all you're worried about. All heart. See ya. Excuse me. Drink. Oi! It's official, then. You know if there was any way I could be doing this with you? It's just as well we lost our own. Don't say that. It's true, though, isn't it? So, if this works, if it all goes according to plan, what then? With us? Like, years down the line, when this miracle baby gets older, what are you going to tell him or her? That we love them just as much as we love our own kids. Love them because they were wanted or just needed. What difference does it make, as long as they're loved? It makes a difference. Do you know what? I'll have nine months to think about it. Right now, I've just got a few of the things on my mind. Not got the tea on? I wasn't hungry. Well, I grabbed some leftovers from the woolly. You can ask me how. Look, just sit down, will you? There's something I need to tell you. Yeah, there's something I need to tell you as well. I uh, got my job out behind the bar. You all right? I didn't tell you everything before. How do you mean? How about trying for a baby? <sighs> Look, you don't need to. What? Tell me anything else. I've. Um... I thought about it and I was giving you too much grief. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. It's all just been a bit of a shock, that's all. Look, there was something that I didn't tell you, something, something important. Like what? On the application form, we had to say that we were a couple. Oh, we are a couple. Like you and me. What, you told them that you and Debbie are together? We couldn't apply otherwise. But they'll know. Debbie told them that I live at hers. Look, we didn't want to do it, but, you know, there was no other way. How could you not tell me? Well, I'm telling you now. It doesn't change anything. It changes everything. No. No, you can't. We already have. Making up for summer. Well, why do you think there were few? You're not my type. If you're looking for your missus, she's not here. And how is that any of your business? I'm just trying to be friendly. They're not for you either. Well, I'll just stick to the pipe then. I'll not even buy you two. Oh, yeah, how come? The buyer has only gone and doubled her order, hasn't she? Be kidding. So now, you'll have to stuff twice as many sausages. Well, as long as you get twice to pay, I'm not bothered. Yeah, right, in your dreams. <laughs> Where's your mum? I reckon she had too much on. Are you joking? She said she'd come down a bit. No, oh, stuff that. How are you doing? Getting her down here now, aren't I? at nine. Joanna Lumley's climbing Greece's highest peak, the dwelling place of the gods Mount Olympus. That's in the final parts of her Greek odyssey. 
Well, next we've all the action from the vital Group A clash between Villarreal and Manchester City.